Today's video is going to be on the 130 grain Sierra Game Changers in .264. I will be shooting them out of my 6.5 Creedmoor. If anybody's interested in these smaller packages of bullets, sub MOA shooting, great place to go get smaller quantities. Save yourself some money in testing. Let's start with my low velocity round. See parts of the green tip there, but that bullet is still whole there. That one was going 1,552. I got plenty of bullets I've tested that perform just fine at that velocity, but not the game changer. I will grab one that's loaded a little bit hotter, see if we can get it to actually perform. Actually looks like it came in, tumbled, and went down too. So, there we are, we can see it from this side. So the first one is a tumble mark. Okay, I'll bring the camera to this side, we can actually see what's going on. going 1,863. You can see we got relatively decent permanent wound cavity there. That starts pin lining to where it stops here. I'll try to reach in there and pull that out so I don't lose it when I flip my box and shoot my high velocity load. But I would say that is still a little bit on the slow end. But not a uh, terrible performance. Let's see what the high velocity is going to do. came around to the other side because of that booger mark. Pretty sure I mentioned it already, but that low velocity one there was going 
1,863 feet per second. A little bit more detail when I get home. Another terrible mushroom bullet in there. Like to see a little bit more penetration. Not terrible. That one, 2,882. So for Rena, only a 130 grain bullet to hit the gel that fast. It's really not terrible penetration. That bullet performed okay overall. Definitely leaving you a little wanting on the longer range shots, but uh, definitely didn't over grenade an okay penetration at the lower. So I'd have to say not, not too bad of a bullet overall.